I'm Shelby. Welcome back to the Conservative Bookworm. I hope that you watched my introduction video. Uh, if you haven't seen it, the link is below. Also, the link to my website is below where you can subscribe to get these videos and hopefully they'll be helpful for you as a parent and finding some good books for your children, books that uh, match up with your conservative ideals and are age appropriate for your children. Okay, so this is the first um, of my videos for my top 10 playlist. Uh, so these are my top 10 favorite books. This first video will be the first, well, four. I'm going to be doing a book per age range. So some of these, like number two, when I do that one, that's it's going to only be three. Um, three books because they're books that I feel that a boy or a girl would enjoy. This first video is four books because for my um, age range for 16 to 18, the, my top favorite uh, is really girl centric. It's not a book that I would suggest to a boy. Definitely when I suggest to a girl. So I also have another one that is definitely something that is for both um, girl and boy. Uh, but it's, I think a, it has a boy main character. So boys would probably like it more. Okay, so my first book is Wonder by R.J. Palacio. And this is for the age range 8 to 12. I don't actually own the book yet, going to, because it's a really great book. I've read it a couple of times. And it was the first book that we read from my book club. And the kids loved it. I think it's probably probably our favorite, one of our favorites that we've read. Um, so this is the this is the book. You can kind of see it. It's sort of the title. There you go, it's focusing. Um, so that's, it's a very recognizable book, has a very, the bright blue cover, unusual um, cover right there. Um, so it says, uh, on the, the cover it says, you can't blend in when you were born to stand out. Um, it's a great, great book. It's one of those that's just, it's everything a parent wants <laughs> in a book for their kids, because it's not just what I call bubblegum for the brain. It's not a book that is just for entertainment. It has a great message in it. Um, it is a very popular book, so you may, your kid may already have read it. Um, so this is, again, this is just one of my top favorite books for this age range. Um, it's about a young boy who has a, was born with a, a facial, it's, it's a problem with his face. He had to go through a lot of surgeries. It's a real condition that happens. People do suffer from this condition. And um, he's been homeschooled because he's had to go through so many surgeries to try to, to help him be able to see correctly and chew correctly and all these things. So, but it's about him going to school for the first time. Um, I think he's in fifth grade, I want to say. I can't remember off the top of my head. Elementary school, though. Um, maybe going into middle school. Um, and it's about his journey. It's told from several perspectives. His is the main perspective. Um, and then it's told from his sister's perspective, it's told from some of his friend's perspective, and there's also a sequel to this book, which is told from three other characters that are mentioned in the book, um, from their perspective during this story. So uh, I would also suggest that book, very, very good. It's a tearjerker. The other books are tearjerkers. They're more like short stories. They're all combined. There's three stories combined into one book. Um, again, great. It has a great message about being kind, not just being polite or being nice to someone, but being kind, going out of your way to show kindness to someone, to be a friend to someone, to not judging a book by its cover, not judging a person by what you think you understand by their face or by if they have a, a physical handicap. Um, it's just really, really good. Uh, it has some bullying in it, but it's it's overcome, and he has people that stand up to stand up for him, and it's just just a really great book. I would suggest it. It's probably one of my top. So it's one of my top top favorite books. Um, so it I don't believe it has anything in it that would I would consider uh, inappropriate at all. I don't think it has language. It does have some bullying. But again, it's, it's resolved and um, uh, people come out better in the end. It's got a great, great story. So, Wonder by R.J. Palacio, look it up. Okay, my next book is East by Edith Pateau. And this is for the age ranges 13 to 15. Um, 
I would, I would also say 13 to 18 because, I mean, I'm an adult. I still enjoy it. I've read this book many times. It's actually a pretty recent book. Um, it was published in 2005. Um, so not that long ago. Um, so it's, this is what it looks like. I do own this one. East by Edith Pichot. Um, it is a fairy tale kind of book. So it does have magic. So if you have a problem with magic, I have a problem with some kinds of magic. This is a retelling of a fairy tale. So it's the retelling of a fairy tale. Um, the, it's, uh, an, I think it's a fairy tale from Norway, I want to say. Um, it's East of the Sun, West of the Moon. That's the name of the fairy tale, I believe, yes. Um, and it's a retelling, and it's also told from multiple multiple perspectives. It is an adventure kind of novel. It does have some romance in it, but I don't even know if they actually kiss. Maybe once at the very end, kind of like a happily ever after thing. So nothing bad in it. Um, it does have some magic, like I said. So it does have trolls, evil trolls. Well, they're not all evil, but there's like an evil troll queen and the end that has to be defeated. So it's kind of a classic good versus evil, but it's also, it's about a girl having, she made a mistake and she's having to correct it and she is just determined and, and hardcore gonna try to help this person that she wronged, try to, to right a wrong. So it has a lot of positive things in it. Um, it is a little thicker, but it, it moves quickly because it is told from so many different perspectives, so the chapters are pretty short. Uh, it's one of my favorites, love this book. It's one that I can go to over and over, and I'm the kind of person that reads books over and over. Okay, next book. This is my top book for girls in the age ranges of 16 to 18. And I'm putting in that age range because it is a little romantic. So, I mean, girls from 13 to 18 would enjoy it too. There's nothing wrong with it. It's, again, I tend to go for the fairy tales. Um, maybe not as much now, but I, tell, I still tend to like fairy tale retellings. Um, fairy tales tend to be pretty one-dimensional, but there's a lot of potential there. So this author is one of my favorites when it comes to her retellings. She's done a retelling of Robin Hood, um, Sleeping Beauty, two Beauty and the Beast books. Um, trying to think what else. And she's also, which I'll talk about in my next book, uh, my next review, written uh, two, a uh, small series, so it's two books, about just her own land, made up fairy tale kind of thing. It's beautiful. She's a beautiful writer. This was her first novel. It's probably still her fav the favorite of all. People who know this this author, this is probably still the favorite. It's just Beauty, a retelling of the story of Beauty and the Beast by Robin McKinley. And I'm going to have links below to all of these books um, to the Amazon, so you can just look at them, see reviews yourself again if you, if you want to. Um, it's pretty much just what it says, a retelling of the story of Beauty and the Beast. Uh, there's a, some, some Disney kind of elements in there, but this was written before the Disney movie, so I feel like Disney probably maybe read this book and they liked some of the things in it, so they kind of used it a little bit. Um, it's just very well written. Beautiful story, really fleshes out this, the characters. Um, it's a more positive version, I think, of the fairy tale, but it's, it's beautiful. I've read this book probably 30 times. I'm not joking. I've read it probably once a year since I, or twice a year since I got this book. Um, so it's very, my, my copy is very well worn. But it's really, really just a romantic, beautiful, charming book. Again, it does have magic in it. Um, the magic is kind of, I mean, it's obvious. It's like an enchantment, you know, just, just kind of thinking Disney lines. It's kind of like that. So there's not really a bad guy. It's just her having to figure out like why she's in this castle and why the beast keeps asking her to marry him all the time. So it's a really, really good book. My last suggestion is the one um, for 16 to 18 for boys, but this is also for girls because I'm a girl and it's one of my favorites. Um, I don't, th this is my copy. It's not called Infinite Possibilities. It's called Citizen of the Galaxy. This book is Robert uh, Heinlein, uh, Heinlein. He's a uh, Heinlein, Heinlein, I think it's Heinlein. Um, he's a well-known sci-fi writer. I would not suggest your children reading any of his adult sci-fi, however. Not appropriate. But his children's young adult sci-fi is really, really good. And there's nothing wrong with it. Um, got some, it's mostly just an action story. 
Uh, this one includes, this, this is my copy, it inclu I had to get it this way because the book is rather, it's older. Um, it's not a book I don't think you're going to find on bookshelves. You're going to find it more either in a library or on like abooks.com. I'll put a link to that below too because it's a great source for used books. You can get books so cheap on there. Great, great source. I've gotten most, I think I got this from there. Um, but Citizen of the Galaxy, I discovered it one day at the library when I was a kid and it is one of my favorite sci-fi novels. I tend to like the older sci-fi books because they are usually more appropriate especially because they had a whole genre of sci-fi for children back in the 50s and 60s and 70s. Um, Citizen of the Galaxy is about a young boy who uh, lives in, it, it's still like our galaxy, there's still Earth, but it's way, way in the future. And he's a slave and he's bought as a young boy, a slave, by a beggar and he goes on this amazing journey and it is kind of dated, like kids reading it, like some of the things they say, like, oh, swell, you know, like that's not something we say anymore. So obviously dates it a little bit, but it's just so well written and just kind of a classic sci-fi novel. Um, it's really a lot of adventure, no mushy, girly stuff, just this kid basically, it's, it's called Citizen of the Galaxy because he's, he goes through so many things to finally get back to finding out who he is, where he belongs. And it's very anti-slavery. Like it has a strong anti-slavery message. Um, and he's all, he was a slave. He's about, it's kind of about fighting <laughs> slavery in this galaxy. So, um, so it has a really positive image too in that, in that way, some intrigue, uh, things like that. So, those are my suggestions. Sorry, this video is a little longer because of that being for I get wordy when it comes to my favorite books. Um, so I hope again that you enjoy those. Again, I'll have a link below to all of those books that on either Abe Books or Amazon. I might do both. Um, so you can find either a Kindle version or you can find it, just be able to see it written out. Uh, so you can find it at your local library so many options abooks.com anyway hope this was helpful for you and that maybe you found some new books for your kids to enjoy and maybe these books will become favorites for them like they have for me again this is a conservative bookworm and i'll see you next time